Hi everyone! In this video we are going to look at the newest shades in L'Oreal's Rouge Signature Matte Colored Ink line. This is a product that was released, I want to roughly estimate, about a year ago, and I did swatches, including lip swatches of all of the original shades. So if you want to see the original shades swatched and what they look like, then I will link that in the upper right hand corner for you to see. These are newer shades that have been released, and once again I will swatch these for you and include lip swatches so that you can see what the colors really look like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button, follow Allura Beauty on Instagram, and if you want to look at the eight newest shades, then keep watching. So these eight new shades are part of the Parisian Sunset collection. And to be really honest, I don't know exactly when this collection released. It may not be super new to the market. I think these have been around for a little bit, but I only recently realized that there were eight new shades. So I wanted to make sure that I picked them up and had a video for you so that you could reference it to see what the colors are if you were interested in any of these new shades. L'Oreal's description says, eight shades inspired by the sunset of Paris with delicate pink hues, twilight purples, and coral nude lipstick shades. The formula is supposed to be lightweight and matte with a satin-like feel, giving you the color impact of a matte liquid lipstick with high pigment, matte finish, and lasting wear. The sensation of the formula is supposed to be ultra comfortable and give you a weightless bare lip sensation. Now I do want to tell you that this formula contains a large amount of alcohol. That's how you get that weightless sensation. So I am not a huge fan of products, especially that go on your face or directly on your skin, having a large amount of alcohol. So I do want to give that preface and that warning that this is not the most healthy product for the lips. In terms of pricing, you can buy these on Ulta online, you can buy them through Walmart online, and they are retailing for somewhere around the $12 mark. That's going to change depending on what retailer you purchase them from. I will put a link in the description box below to where you can find them online to purchase because it is kind of difficult to make sure you can find a place with the new shades as well as a link to Ebates. Ebates is a cash back online system so that if you do do any significant amount of online shopping, you should be using a program like Ebates so that you can be getting automatically cash back on any online orders that you are placing. The packaging is the same. You have slightly frosted plastic clear tubes. The caps twist off and you get this raindrop, very pointed flat doe foot applicator. This shade is number 434, I Savor, 436, I Radiate, 438, I Decide, 440, I Choose, 442, I Captivate, 444, I Lead, 446, I Amaze, and 448, I Tease. Starting with 434, I savor. This is like a medium bubblegummy pink. 436, I radiate is a bright coral. 438 is I decide. And this is a kind of pink carnation color. 440, I choose is a medium mauvey pink. 442, I Captivate is a deep purple. 444 I Lead is a very like browny brickish clay nude. 446 I Amaze. This is also a very reddish clay browny nude, a lot more warm tone. The one we swatched previously is a lot more mauvey pink in comparison. This one is a lot more orange. And 448 I tease. And this is a beigey nude. Okay, here are your eight new shades right after application. I'm going to let them dry down and set and check in with you in a minute or two. All right, so these have pretty much died down. You can see that they are matte in the sense that they don't have any shimmer, but they are not super flat the way a true liquid lipstick or matte liquid lipstick might be. Let's go ahead and do a removal swipe so that you can see which colors stain the most. 
and sort of not surprisingly it's the brightest shades there. So I would expect when you wear this for that purple shade and a couple of the pink shades to give you a staining on the lips. So these do have a really pleasant formula. It is absolutely weightless. It's like a really thin gel and it leaves a nice barrier on the lips so that they don't dry out while still giving you that matte finish. But like you saw on the swatches, it's almost like a glossy matte finish. It's not a matte finish that just completely lies flat. For the new Parisian collection shades, they went on pretty smoothly and the really pointy tear shaped doe foot applicator works pretty nicely for allowing you to get a precise application. I'd say that the deep purple shade is the only one that went on noticeably streaky. But after you let it set for 10 seconds or so, it kind of smooths itself out and it doesn't look super streaky after it's set. It definitely gives you the strongest staining of color to the lips. It ends up after you take it off being more of a really bright pink on the lips. And then a few of those pink shades also leave a stain. In terms of how long these last, they don't last nearly as long as a true matte liquid lipstick because they don't dry down the way matte liquid lipsticks do. At the same time, they are much longer wearing than a regular lip gloss. And while they're not transfer proof, they're somewhere in between being transfer proof and just completely uh, transferring the way a lip gloss does. So this is a really nice in-between formula if you don't need something that is truly long wearing, but you also don't wanna be stuck with reapplying a gloss over and over throughout the day. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of these new shades. If there's any one in particular that you like, leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.